Hello? Oh, hey, my bank. Yeah, what's going on? I have too much money in my account? I have to spend some of it on random garbage from AliExpress? All right, I guess if you say so. I Thank you for letting me know. All right, thank, all right, bye. Love you too, bye. That was my bank. They just uh, said that I have too much money in my account and I have to spend it on stuff from AliExpress. What do you mean you already know? Were you you're just eavesdropping on my conversation? That's not cool. Let's go buy some stuff. I'm expecting to see a lot of Mario stuff on here. A lot of good, funny Mario stuff. He's, he's an icon of gaming, so I feel like there's going to be some good stuff. I'm going to try to start off with a shirt. I think the biggest issue is going to be finding one that's, that's my size. I think that they should cater more towards the creepy adults that wear these shirts instead of the regular kids that wear these shirts. Okay, this is the only one that I found so far that is for just for adults as well, um, for children and adults. So I'm, I'm going to go with one of these. They're all very interesting looking. I kind of like this one where Mario is only on the bottom half of the print. I think more clothes should do stuff like this where the, the subject of it is just on the bottom half. That way, if you want to wear something that covers up the top half of your body, you can still have everything show up down on the bottom half. This is also cool because I can tuck my shirt in and then it looks like Mario is... Never mind. I also got this here in the uh, in the suggested this um, Mario watch. <laughs> look at look at Mario's face. So this is a new Mario Children's toy watch morphing robot. So it's like a watch that's also a transformer. <laughs> you can either have it be a watch or the most terrified looking Mario I've ever seen. Look at this. This man has seen every single horror in this world, and he has to keep it to himself to keep the rest of the world pure. We respect it, Mario. Thank you. Yeah, so basically it just looks like a Transformer and a watch, and it's $2, which is just pretty much nothing. Oh, actually, it's $7. That's the wrong one. I don't want this. Uh, it's still worth it. I mean, it's a little toy thing, and none of this is going to be worth it. This is one of those things that you, like, push on the lights and then it's like a fidget toy and it's Mario's face. This looks horribly ugly. Also, what's going on up here? Did they, uh, I don't read this language, but that top part is probably not right, is it? We got four major modes, I suppose one of which has this fan render of Luigi in the background. That's pretty cool. Hopefully I won't need any of these instructions because I can't read any of this. I also noticed on the robot that they also had this, which looked interesting. It is a, uh, it's Mario Kart. My assumption is that they made this to try to trick people into thinking that this is like the Mario Kart live circuit thing where you can actually drive Mario and it's a video game and it's like augmented reality or something like that. This for $22 is definitely not that. I think this is just like an RC car. There's also a lot of kind of odd quirks with it that I'm noticing. For some reason, Toad has Z. His name is not does not have the letter Z anywhere in it, so I don't know why Z. Uh, Yoshi has Q. Uh, we do know that Yoshi is spelled with a Q, actually. Mario looks correct, well, correct enough with his hair being the same color as his flesh, but then Luigi is just the same mold but painted green. Like it's. I know there's a joke of Luigi being green Mario, but this is literally green Mario. This isn't even Luigi. I guess I'm just going to pick um, Green Mario for this. I don't see why not. All of this looks kind of horrible. It says it's for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, actually. Um, so maybe we can do something in the game. Probably not. Okay, I, I should know better than this. I, I really should. But I don't think I do. Technically speaking, this is not a Mario product, but Mario is on the TV. So this is a Lego set, which is like a Lego NES. This is something that Lego really does sell. The retail price of the actual Lego version of this is almost $300, but we can get ours off AliExpress for $57. I bought Legos last time whenever I did the Legend of Zelda stuff, and I hated doing that, so I really should have learned my lesson, but I don't think I am going to learn my lesson, and this is a lot more pieces, I think, than that other one, so this could be bad. I suppose if we are getting Legos, we also got to get some minifigures, of course. I really like the way that this Yoshi looks. This is clearly a 3D render, uh, not what an actual Lego thing would be. You guys know and love Donkey Kong. Well, may I introduce you to Orangutan? Donkey Kong is, of course, known for his complete lack of arms. I might have to pick one of these up, too. I think I might just get like a pack of them or something like that, or just get a couple different ones. Also, just within here, they have variations, which some of them are worse. Like this Wario 
looks pretty convincing, and then this Wario <laughs> looks far less convincing. Now admittedly my brain may be getting rotted at this point because I see this boo light and it looks like it's actually sort of cool, like it lights up. Well, I guess it won't let me click on that picture, but it lights up, there we go. Uh, that looks kind of neat, like it's it's way too expensive for what it is, but maybe it's nice, I don't know. Like I said, my, my brain might be falling apart in my head. These definitely look like things that you could just get at like five below for $5. So I don't know why I'm about to drop almost 20 on something like this, uh, but maybe it'll be cool. I don't know. This seems like something that might be fine. We've got this Mario action figures. It caught my attention because it says that it comes with 12 random figures. And for some reason, I am just a sucker for like mystery items. It seems like there is a decent amount of things that you could get. I get the feeling it's going to be a lot of the bad stuff. Like we'll probably get like a bunch of coins and stars and things like that. We won't get any like the premium stuff. We won't get <laughs> Diddy Kong uh, looking like he's falling backwards drunk. Okay, I first see these things, right? And I'm like, oh, this is cute. A little like piranha plant plush, but they're slippers. Am I falling apart? Or is that actually kind of cool? We got the Piranha Plants Cannibal Flower Style Plush Slippers. Everybody knows them, everybody loves them. These are probably not gonna be cool, but even even if they're not very good, the novelty of it, of just putting the plush, uh, the plush slippers inside the pipe pot holder, then we get a Piranha Plant Cannibal Flower, that's gonna be kind of cool, I think. Spicy and lovely mascot, what are you, still hesitating? Right, just let me, I'm, I'm gonna get them, just let me look through it a little bit. You can do all the usual stuff you're going to do with slippers. You can uh, put them up next to your typewriter. You can put them in a little thing. You can put them up to your face and get uh, lead poisoning from them. $15 for this. Is this good or is this bad for a pair of slippers? I don't know, but we're buying them and we're seeing. Ending off with something very strong, something I think we've all been asking for, a Super Mario Ice Cube tray. I don't even know why I would want to buy this. Like buying something from AliExpress is one thing, but buying something that is supposed to make things that you're supposed to eat is another thing. I rest assured, I'm not going to eat anything. I don't want you guys to watch me die on camera. Diverse styles, all kinds of style let you fondle <laughs> admiringly. Do they think that the word fondle is like the verb version of the word fondue? Like they think that you're going to put fondue in it admiringly, but they're saying to fondle it admiring? What other word would they want to put right here? This product will. So that's good. We've got the honorary <laughs> certificates here. Uh, we've got the food and state method right here. You can read this if you need to. Uh, the LFG B through right there. I mean, we all know that the FDA. It's a little bit hidden, but just trust me, the FDA just says that this, this is all good. Don't worry about this. You don't have to read too hard into this. We're all good. I feel like I need to make sure that I make a disclaimer. Uh, I'm not condoning you eat anything from AliExpress. If you order anything from AliExpress, don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it close to your mouth. I do this for scientific research. That seems like a pretty good mix of things. I'll end it off there. Now we wait a month and then get disappointed. Here we are and everything has arrived, which is what I would say if I was a liar. Remember how I said that that Lego NES thing was like too good to be true? Well, it turns out <laughs> I'm pretty sure it actually was. AliExpress has this thing where the seller has to ship out an item uh, within like a certain amount of days. I don't know the exact number of days, but if they don't ship it within that time, then you automatically get a refund. Uh, whenever I bought that, everything else had already shown up and that had not shipped yet, but it shipped the day before they were supposed to do that. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, and then I still hadn't gotten like any tracking number for it. So I messaged the seller and they were like, oh yeah, sorry, this is not coming, it's out of stock. Um, so now I have to try to wait to apply for uh, a refund, all this stuff, it's gonna be a whole lot. I, honestly, I would be mad, but this is the first time that this has happened after like all of these AliExpress videos, so I can't be that upset. Let's not focus on that though, let's focus on the products that we've got here. To my knowledge, I'm pretty sure this actually is everything other than the Lego NES, um, so I'm just gonna break into it. I'll start off with this, because I think this is the shirt. I'm not really sure what this QR code is for. I guess I'll scan it later and put it up on the screen of what this is. I don't know why my shirt has or even needs a QR code. I've never had a shirt that has or needed one. Incredible. It's exactly what we expected. Mario, a bottom half Mario shirt. I guess I gotta put this on. You're not gonna be able to see it whenever I'm wearing it. The bottom, It's just gonna look like I'm wearing a red shirt. You're not even gonna see bottom half Mario. I'm not putting this on. No, you know what? I'll put it on. I'll put it on. I've got to uh, make it worth the $2 that I spent on this or whatever it was. I know what you're thinking at home. You're like, no, 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 you gotta wash that first. You can't just put that on straight from getting it from AliExpress after, after it's coming from wherever, you don't know where. That's what you don't realize. 
I'm trying to sue. Uh, next up, we got a box. I don't even fully remember like half the stuff that I bought, so I'm just gonna kind of like <laughs> grab and go and, and remember whenever I open this. Oh yeah, this was a little boo lamp. Yeah, this thing was seemed like it was kind of cool. Just in case you were curious, boo light, boo light, boo light. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> I like the uh, the off and on comparison that it has here where just the off and the on look almost identical. The box is actually not, not that bad. Oh, it's gonna require, oh, I don't even know if I have AAA batteries. Oh my God. Well, I didn't think that he was gonna make a noise that was that loud. <laughs> He's multicolored, look at him go. Oh wow, he, you can throw a party. Yeah, you can throw a party with this guy. I guess I'm just gonna set this up like, that is really loud and I don't think that there's any way to turn that down. I'm just gonna set it up here next to my very nice, very expensive Grisco lamp. This is almost, this is almost as good. This is almost better. There's um, a little bit of a, a, I guess you could call it a defect or a, um, an oversight in the design is that the button is on the very bottom where you would normally set them down. I mean, you could put it on the back or just anywhere else other than the bottom <laughs> where you're gonna be setting them down because now he sits a little bit lopsided and doesn't really want to sit down straight. So that's not really the best design choice, but it's kind of cool. I probably spent too much on it. I, I think it was like $15. I guess that's maybe worth, no, nah, it's probably like a $10 thing. You probably, you, you could probably get it at five below. I'm going to get into this one because my cats already kind of got into it. I, I made a mistake of leaving this on the ground and they did not like that. They wanted to investigate what this was and now I want to investigate what it is. Okay, inside of that package were three more smaller packages. This I'm pretty sure was a little Lego minifigures. I don't uh, this sounds like Legos inside. You can't really hear it, but this one is catching my attention because it's very heavy. It's like, honestly, the weight of a cell phone. And I don't remember what I could have bought that could have been this weight. I'll go ahead and open up the little minifigures first because we know what those are. We'll save this for a little bit later on. Oh man, I got a lot of these, didn't I? They each come with a little Goomba and they've got like, I I'll need to put them together. Hold on, let me put these together so you can see them. All right, I mean, that's that's a little bit cool. It doesn't look really too bad at all, honestly. The printing is not that bad. It's got the little, like, uh, flame accessory. I don't know if this is an official Lego piece or not, but if it's not, it's pretty good. It's, it's like, a little bit transparent like they sometimes are. I wonder if all of them have anything cool like that. Oh, they come with alternate faces. That's something that Lego sets do sometimes, is that there's one face on one side and then one face on the other side. I'm actually surprised with the amount of detail that's in this. I guess this would have worked a little bit better if I actually had that LEGO NES. I think that was pretty much the only reason that I got this, but I guess they're still kind of cool to have. Probably would be better if um, I was a child. <laughs> I don't even know how, how well this is showing up on camera or not, but the detail on the Wario printing is actually pretty good. For some reason they gave him, so like with LEGO, the shorter legs mean that it's like a child size legs versus the adult size legs. For some reason, I think they gave Wario child legs. I think you pretty much get the idea. These look decent. Let's open up the other one and see what it looks like because I think that these um, were not going to be quite as good. Uh, the Princess Peach one isn't doesn't really look very much like Princess Peach. The other ones did look like who they are. This looks more like, I don't know, the girl from Frozen or like Taylor Swift. This doesn't, uh, oh no, her the top part just came off. And now the one that I was very excited for, which is Donkey Kong. He's got, he comes with a stick of dynamite. <laughs> he also, everybody else came unassembled in like a sealed package. Donkey Kong just came in like a, a little <laughs> plastic baggie. You guys know him, you love him, it's, it's Donkey Kong with the signature uh, explosive weaponry. These got worse and worse in quality somehow. You can just stay like that, Donkey Kong. I can't wait to integrate these into my little Lego city that I have over here. They're gonna fit right in. I'll, I'll make a whole story of how there's an ape with dynamite that's trying to kill everybody. Let's get into this one. I, I'm, I know that I didn't order a phone, but maybe I accidentally ordered a phone or maybe they accidentally sent me a phone. All right, well, this, uh, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. It's not a phone. It's just the world's heaviest ice mold. I guess I need to fill this up with water and put it in the freezer so that maybe whenever we come back it'll be ice. I'll, I guess I'll go do that now. Hey, yeah, I, I totally forgot to actually show a part where the ice is frozen, so I have refrozen these to show them off, and I can confidently say they do not look very good. This is supposed to be the question mark block, which as you can see does not look like anything. I mean, you can kind of tell, and I think 
Some of this is the uh, the fault of the ice. I think you're supposed to boil water whenever you want to do something like this. The coin looks fine, actually. The coin looks decent. I'm going to drop this all over the floor. Let's see the Goomba. The Goomba is all right. The Goomba does not look that bad. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. It's It did work, but the only issue is, of course, that um, this is from AliExpress, so if you try to eat anything that's made in this, you will die. So that's kind of the caveat. Uh, it works, but... Are you willing to die for it? I hope not. All right, let's go back to the rest of it. Okay, the ice is freezing, so I guess we'll just come back whenever the ice is frozen. We'll see how that mold looks. I, I was actually thinking about doing chocolate with it because it says it's like a, a an ice or like a chocolate mold thing. And then I realized that maybe I shouldn't try to ingest something that I receive from AliExpress. The shirt's pushing it, but actually eating something, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is a little, a little figurine set. I thought they might be a little bit more... Um, pizzazz or something but they just got the figures here in, in a bag i thought maybe i could like open this up and see who i got because it said it was like a mystery thing i guess let's see who we got though okay now that i've got uh, enough plastic to fill a landfill let's show off what we got let's show off the haul we got um a cheap cheap we got acorn uh toad for some reason yoshi a koopa troopa a mushroom mario luigi peach the classics uh, this guy a red shell a thwomp and then the worst printing i have ever seen on waluigi ever his face unfortunately just doesn't really uh look right i'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera here but yeah he doesn't look very good and then i guess they're all supposed to fit in here i kind of thought that this thing was going to be bigger uh to accommodate for all of these I, I don't think these are all going to fit in here this one's wrapped up pretty securely it's got like bubble wrap or something so my assumption is this one's going to be the worst one because they put more work into the packaging all right I, I do remember ordering this i did not expect it to be this big it's really large but then you can see on the back of the box oh and it shows it on the front uh, mario plus rabbits sparks of hope so this is um i don't know it's definitely not officially licensed i'll tell you that much the box is also kind of badly damaged god these all take so many batteries and I didn't even think about grabbing batteries. I guess that's what I get for buying electronics. All right, I don't know the best way to show. Welcome to the quick game. Okay. Level two. Okay. I pushed it in already. Right. What am I doing wrong? Uh, maybe I should read the instructions. Stage mode. Yeah, I want to. I want to play slate mode. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, sure, all age, sure. All right, well, this thing's a bust. <laughs> I don't understand how to play it. I can't imagine a child would understand how to play this, even the instructions. I mean, it's it's definitely translated. Let me take the batteries out of this before I forget. I'm also not entirely sure what uh, this has to do with Mario plus Rabbids Sparse of Hope. I never played the game, mind you, so maybe they have this in there. It'd be kind of fun, I guess, if the Rabbids are playing with a little fidget toy. So this thing is um, both a Transformer and also a watch, and also it's like a flashlight. You can see when I point it down there, it's making, I mean, you probably can't see it, but that's Yoshi right there. It's got a little Yoshi thing. It actually doesn't look that bad. This, I probably would think that this was cool if I was a child. Actually, I'm an adult. I think this kind of, is kind of cool. I don't know how to set the clock, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but on the actual clock part, it just says four. So it's four. How do you, <laughs> this is confusing. I would not remember this if it wasn't for the instructions right here. Would you guys hate me if I said I don't actually hate this product? <laughs> like this isn't, it's, it's, you have to keep holding down the button for the little flashlight thing to work. Uh, but other than that, I mean, if I was a kid, I'd probably like this. It's, it's fashionable. You got a little Mario head on here that you can look at over and over again. And then if you need to know what time it is, you can just open it up, right? You open it up and you get the actual watch part. Uh, Probably give this to a little kid. I remember being uh, a little kid and having the like the Ben 10 Omnitrix. This is really reminding me of that. I think it's because of the gigantic size. This is on my wrist too. Granted, I have a child's wrist, but I think even on a child's wrist, this would probably be a little bit large. They got a bunch of different little characters each time you click it. So that's kind of cool. There's Daisy, there's Toad riding Yoshi, Mario Brothers, Bowser. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I, I don't hate this. I don't hate everything. Uh, it's, it's a fashion statement. It looks cool. It's better than whatever the Mario plus Rabbit Sparse at Hope thing was.
And finally, this is what I've been waiting for. I think this is what we've all been waiting for. Uh, it's I know that it's a little remote controlled car, and then I think there's something else in here. I don't remember what the other thing was though. I'm about to look like a true Nintendo fan with my Mario watch, my Mario shirt, and then my piranha plant slippers. This is kind of neat, actually. Admittedly, I think I'm the only person to have ever bought more than one pair of slippers from AliExpress, which is a feat in and of itself, but if I had to compare these to the Tom Nook slippers that I got, these seem like they're going to be worse because it doesn't like cover your whole foot, it's just like the front of your foot. I guess we'll see it, let me try them on. Yeah, like it or not, this is what the average Nintendo fan looks like, so Nintendo, get those stocks up, big guys. I mean, they're slippers, they seem easy enough to get on, easy enough to take off, and I do like that they've got a place where they can go and it looks like a little piranha plant. Like it honestly does look like a piranha plant whenever it's in this. So that's cool. I, I don't think that these were that expensive. Maybe they're like $12 or something like that. And they're they're a decent size. You can honestly just have this like a plushie if you want to have like a plushie. I'm sure you can find a different one that's cheaper, but for what they are, I don't hate that. And finally, with one of the most damaged boxes I have ever seen. Man, this thing is absolutely destroyed. I can assure you that I did not, I did not do this to this thing. I, this is, I just pulled it out of the package. This is not my fault, but it looks like somebody kicked it before they got to it. This is the um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the best gift for children. It's a remote control little thing. The, the initial pose that Luigi is in whenever you open it is just absolute despair. I feel sorry for this guy. Oh man, this is gonna need a total of six AA batteries. I don't know if I've got six AA batteries that are just lying around. Got it. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let me see if there's a way to uh, maybe turn off the sound. The box, <laughs> the box says it's a streamlined design of car, bodies surpassing the future. That's, that's great to hear, that's what they say about me too. Okay, I got, I got this. Okay, I've got to turn this thing off when I talk, but uh, the way that you control this, there's like just two buttons. So forward and back on the left side and forward and back on the front side. So if you want to go forward, you have to be pressing both buttons. And then if you want to like turn right forward, you have to just hold down this button. It's, it's a little confusing. I don't know why they didn't just have like a regular, um, you know, front, back, left and right thing. This is a little, a little bit much. It's also extremely loud. I would say uh, don't get this for your kids if you value your hearing. And there's no way, at least no way that I can find that you can turn this off. I don't know, it's, it's kind of a lot. Maggie, you want to come in here and help? Our final product here, we've got, um, got Maggie. <laughs> I got her from AliExpress. Maggie, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna kill Luigi. Okay, in terms of products, let's, let's talk. What was good, what was not good? You're right, you're right in the middle of the shot, but people probably want to see you, so stay up there. Be cute. Look at the camera. Camera, over there. All right, let's, let's rate these products. This thing, bad. Maggie, what do you think? She says bad. Uh, the little figurines, I guess they are what they are. I can't really rate them bad necessarily, but I would not use them. The Legos range in quality of uh, not very good to decent, and they come with little stands, so you can like display them in places. So I would say that these, I guess if you want to get them, I think they were pretty cheap, so might as well get them if you want to get them, I guess. The Boo Light, I'll just leave it back up there. It's actually kind of cool, other than the fact that it is extremely loud. I am surprised that it changes colors like that. I figured it was just going to be like off and on like it was showing, but it seems like something cool to put on the desk or, or put back there. You're going to go inspect it. You're going to go make sure it's all good. The Mario watch. Ow. The Mario Transformer watch. I could see giving this to a kid and they would enjoy it if they like Transformers and Mario and things like that and need to know what time it is. I don't know why a child would need to know what time it is. They don't have a job. 
Um, what else? The, the shirt, the shirt that I'm wearing right now sucks, obviously. I, nobody was expecting anything different, but I guess I need to rank everything. The Piranha Plant slippers, I actually like. I'm probably never going to wear these, uh, but they look cool. I like the fact that they look like a Piranha Plant when they're in here, and then you can also wear them as slippers. So if this is something that interests you, honestly buy it. You scared of this? And the Mario Kart car, it sucks. I'm sure that you could find something cheaper. Um, I think what they're trying to do is trick people into this is the Mario Kart live circuit thing I think is what it's called where it's like a game and you can drive around and there's a camera they want people to think that that's what this is so the, the people the parents buy it for like $25 thinking that this is what the kids want and then it's just garbage of course we've also got um, the greatest purchase that we made which was Maggie she really loves biting but she's so cute and she's wearing a little pumpkin sweater she's in the season for Halloween I mean I would not return this one for anything. Ow! All right, that's gonna be it from me. I'm gonna clean up all this plastic that's now on the ground before my cat gets into it. I don't want anything to happen. She's already kind of trying. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, there you have it. Oh, hold on. Hello? Oh, hey, bank. You meant to call someone else and tell them they had too much money in their account? I didn't have to spend all that? <sighs> all right, that's fine. Can I at least get a refund? It's non-refundable. All right, well, thank you for letting me know, I guess. I've been getting a lot of spam calls from people pretending to be my bank, so I'm glad you guys are legit. Oh, my social security number? Yeah, it's uh, it's 498.